Hello and welcome back to another video. I am your Nance Flip Flop and we are once more on Castle Crushers. I am currently addicted to this game, so I'm using that addiction this for my channel. Getting that was the content I'm going away from you for a second. You're the wrong shop I wanted to go to anyway. So we have two levels to do and then we're into the second half of the game. So the first one is the lava lake level thingy. But I've got to go fight a volcano, a dragon, and learn how to use sandwiches, which I just realised this is the first time you've seen them, I've not used them before. Sandwiches are amazing, you're about to see what they do. And then once we're out, we're doing the industrial castle, which is down there. And we'll see how long that takes us, and then, you know, the arena. So obviously, I'm playing with my boy Civilian Steve, because that's what the series is, the Civilian Steve run. And right now, and as you see, there's these cool little demons. I have some beautiful Colgate white teeth. Jealous of them myself, because my teeth look like chicks, I'm British. Yeet! But so is civilian Steve. So get wrecked, American, you want, you want the same race as civilian Steve. Race? That's definitely ethnicity. You want the same ethnicity as civilian Steve. Yeah, I was about to say, that's definitely the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, so you see these little cracks, they spew lava and everything, which is pretty cool, pretty cool gimmick. Well, it does slow you down a bit, so it's kind of annoying. Yeah, so the demons, they have a cool design, which, and they're an unlockable character you can get. But, um, they're basically just a reskinned orange knight, essentially. The only difference is the fireball looks different, they can shoot for the, for the, um, projectile magic. And... They have a slightly different splash that magic, which I I'm not playing as them, so I can't demonstrate. I'm playing as my boy, Civilian Steve. Oh yeah, um, my mate asked me how to get Civilian Steve, so I'll tell you real quick how to get them. So what you need to do is you need to play pick your character, grind until play the game until you get to like, or you need to get past the second half. And it's the second class arena, so the first arena you unlock in the second half of the game. And then you need to beat that because that's the peasant arena. And then once you've beaten that, you um, get the peasant, or like the one, Peasant Pete! And then you beat the game with the peasant, and then you get the boy, my boy, a civilian Steve, the Chad lad. So now I can't obviously hit it off. You see the sandwich, that's because you went to eat one, and it's fucking steroids. And you get to see my boys, my boy civilian Steve musculature. And those demons drop sandwiches because you're not meant to go to the shop first thing to buy them. But I always do this because I play the game so much I know that's where they first appear. Um, so, yeah, you see, you see the flash. Um, I think it does a. I think it does less damage, I mean, more damage, but has less range than the Orange Knight. But, um, it does look cool as well. That's a plus. If I had to recommend one, I'd recommend, if I had to recommend Orange Light or Demon, I'd just go to Demon because it looks cooler. But obviously you have to beat the game with Orange Light first to get a Demon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Bruh. That is. Ooh, cheaper. Definitely not decade old and probably mold green. Actually, how did that, how did that one got burnt to a quest in the fucking volcano? Stone Preserver or some shit like that. Yeah, I'm trying to do better commentary. If you can't, if you couldn't tell. Anyways, upwards and onwards with civilian Steve. Um, I'm trying to come up with stuff to say now because um, obviously normally for normal videos I just cut out the emptiness. But this game, uh, as a series I'm making, doesn't take. I don't want to edit it as much because it's a simple game, so I feel it should have simple editing. I'm not trying to go over the top or anything. So um, um, I need to fill up the time to be speaking. Hey, it's my boy Necromancer. He's cool as hell. Look at him. Look at the trip he has. And also the red, red gold crystal, which is 
no longer at the platinum. Do I say it for the platinum? No, I don't say that's a joke my friend. Credit gold now. Don't even know what I called it last time. Hell, maybe it's an even an, maybe it's an even it maybe it's an evil light or some shit like that. You know? But yeah, actually it could make sense as Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Yeah, it could make sense as an evil light, because in the last game, in the last level, we see people go as minions who look exactly like him. And then they're weaker than him, right? And here's the crazy part. Oh no, I won't, uh, I'll, say, I'll save the video for what actual boss fight so I can show you. Tell you what I mean, fam. Because it's one of us, if I don't save it, then. Anyways, so the skeleton is another remarkable character. Like most, literally most, ba all basic enemies that follow the same body shape as the knights and stuff are playable except the fucking goblin something not goblin gremlin there's little black things that get spawned in by the big black thing whenever you hear it that, that in the forest before the bigger black thing chases you on the deers ah i thought i didn't realize it was there I'm, i don't know there for a second money anyways give me more food you bastards also, I'm also, once I'm level 15, I'll get a different weapon, obviously, because level 15 weapons are better than level 10 weapons. And when I'm level 15, should we, at the end of this level, should we get some more stuff? Yeah, I'm level 15 for the industrial castle. Yeah, that's level 15. Yeah, that's level 15 for the industrial castle. Alright. I know I said it before, but like, the, I know this is just mostly an ambient, not ambient track, um, this one's not as banging as the other tracks, obviously. Castle Crashes has some really good music in it, bro. Like, literally. Um, I don't know why I said literally, but... No, it had really good music. But sadly, one of my videos got copyrighted. Because when, when you're in the first going to the forest, the second one's a cat. The second video was the catfish I made in this game. When you go into the forest, the... Um, the theme, that song got me copyrighted because it's like the most iconic Castle Crashers song. Oh shit, his head's gone. His head is in a different area code to his body. Tackle it. Oh, oh, okay. Don't say tackle, tackle. Yeet! Yeah, so I'm probably still a grind some of this game out in the recording at the minute. Oh yeah, I <laughs> like before how I was saying this series is uh, more relaxed on the editing and stuff. Yeah, A, my editing is just cutting some stuff out of the video. And B, last last episode had way more editing in it than um, the rest of my series on this game clip is. No, anyway, back to the demons design. Why do you like you know how their teeth are like squares, bro? You think they're like grates that open up? But you think they still have a hinged jaw? Like, I'm curious, does, does the top set or bottom set just slide up or down? That'd be cool if it is, it does. Alright, now this boss is cool, you can't, you can't kill him with grout. Oh, sandwiches. We need to go sandwich form, beef up, bulk, take your bulk up, and start kicking the shit out of him. Oh yeah, you can literally helicopter, helicopter. Okay. Sandwich! Alright, here's a question. Which you think tastes better? The steroid sandwiches from this game or sandwich from TF2? No, piss off, I don't want to hit him. This is the thing I want to kill. Right. I wonder what the thumbnail boss of this video is gonna be because I'm gonna fight three. Because there's two in this level. And then the industrial castle one. Probably won't be that one because the boss of that one's a bit funky. If you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. If you've not played the game or haven't got up to that part yet on this, um, what, 15 year old game now, is it? Yeah, because the first per original version came out in 2008. So. And we just have to put me yeah yeah it's 15 year olds this game well 
15 year old the original game and then the remasters only only nine years oh fuck nine years old and I can't get up anything what I'm gonna use him as the thumbnail boss so let me get a nice thumbnail shot of him Throw my icons in the way. Fine, I'll do the soft puppet as debate as debating. Oh, I can look it up on Google. Anyway, ah, fuck! I keep on taking the super soldier serum sandwiches, and then I get fucked. And I can't hit him. What the fuck? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Helicopter, helicopter. Ah, wank and punch hole. No one ever likes you. Um, nah, you're dead. I beat the shit out of him. And then there's puppets on the retreat. So, either he's not dead, or that puppet is a fucking different creature altogether. Anyways. Give me my fucking golden wheel. Oh my god! Alright, we got four stat points, so I gotta do the usual. Keeping them all round. Well, I'll go down in a sec. I'm going to get a better weapon. Is that the frog's heart up there? Let me sense if it was though actually, so probably not. Level 15 weapons, where are you? There we go. Alright, so you're level 15 plus 2, max 1 plus 5. Hmm. I like, ooh, this one's good because it's plus to the oh, no, iron agility. Plus 3 attack, plus 3 magic. Plus five attack, plus two magic. Plus four attack, plus two defense. Plus six. Mm. The club. I want to switch to the club on level twenty anyway. Or the sword. That sword that I can't remember the name. Necromancer sword. I'll go for this one. Come on, Surly and Steve. We have um, how many more princesses? Two more princesses to rescue, and the evil light, like, Reddit gold, um, fucking Discord Dintro, fucking Crystal Meth Rock, Neverite Quartz shit, looking bomb plug shit. Look, I don't know what that thing is, bro. It's weird. Never get to play in the game. Mr. Farquaad, do you know what it, do you know what it is? Oh shit! Let's go. Let's go inside to ask him. Hey, can I speak to Farquaad? I want to speak to Farquaad. Can you not try to hit me, please? No, I did. Did I throw the first hit? Who cares? Bro, okay, I was hitting you. Don't throw bombs and swords at you. That's a bit harsh. Back on back. All right, but since you started, I'm throwing knives. I also got my aerial projectile move. Get fucked, bitcheronies. Ah! Yeah, Silly and Steve just times it because he's a chad. Tackle deck! Oh, yeah, so these are the industrial and fences. And um, they're literally the exact same. Well, the enemies are slightly different because I'm pretty sure the industrials have a higher resistance to magic. But I'm not sure. Like 15, 16. Yeah, no, um. No, the, the industrial sort of beefier. They probably hit do different damage as well, but it doesn't really matter. Um, when you unlock them as characters, there's no difference between them, so. I honestly, I honestly can't decide to do I like look more, more of an industrial as the inventor. 
but you unlock the industrial us first, so I kind of have to play him first. So I'm not, I'm not beating the game from yet. Because all my progress got fucking reset for some reason. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Luckily, there's some food down here in those crates. Yes, there's... So I don't know what, what makes this a castle. Because it doesn't look like a castle. Ah, oh, fuck. It doesn't look like a castle. It's just a big factory. And this elevator is really funky because you have to run to weird places to get out to work. Uh, we're about to get jumped. Yep. Yeah, I think I think the fencer is just a worse industrialist of the enemy. It's just um, so they appear more. Yeet, 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 yeet. Oh fuck! Ow, ow. Oh fuck, I died. Mm, bro, I forgot to use the potion. In fact, I need to go back more of them. More potions and sandwiches. Time to get very on the command of God, so it's gone. We did it, we did it, yeet! Alright, so I need to ask Fark on that question. Yeah, so do you see the resemblance of Fark God? Yeah, he, he looks like um, the behemoth take on Fark God if he was purple. Ow! Anyways, the fences look cool. Uh, I think I prefer the, the industrialist a tiny bit. Uh, please be something good. Please be something good. Ow. No, I wasn't food. Also, the. Um, the. What was I going to say? The industrialist is, has blue as its primary colour, whilst. Well, a shade. It's like, it's like the shade of blue given to the Goombas in the first Mario, from Super Mario Bros, the original one on the NES, when they were on the ground. But the uh, Infenta has a wheelie, really, wee, wee, I can't speak. Really weird, like diarrhea shade of purple. And yes, I, I know diarrhea is not purple. It looks like diarrhea purple, bro. That is diarrhea purple. I've, I've pulled it that now. So I, I just think the industrial looks a bit better. Actually, I made it on the land. I made up my mind. The uh, industrial is my, my chosen one now. Yeah, let me know if you if you care. Let me know down in the comments who you think looks better. Because in the only difference between them in game is if they're an enemy. Am I gonna get fucking crushed again? Um, the exact same as characters. The both tied to the best character, so it doesn't really matter. Just pick which one you think looks better. Sit down, play the game, and have a laugh, and then be the same mode as them because they are the best character in the game and then they make the bosses easy. Not easy. Yeah, no, no, they are easy. Literally. Just melt through the bloody bosses. Because most bosses are heavy in this game. I just realized my volume is on max. You may not have heard me this entire video. Not max, but like high up. Um, literally they melt through the bosses. They melt through the bosses, the heavy ones, because they don't get knocked back by the swords, and it's just a, a fucking, like, laser of sword death. Haha, <laughs> good combo. Combo! I'm trying to blow me up, for fuck's sake, you fucking terrorist wonder- Actually, no, I'm the terrorist, and- No, you guys are the terrorist, but as I say, I get your- I'm, I'm storming, crashing- I'm crashing your castle, but, um- you, you guys stole, kidnapped some, kidnapped two people, like not two people, four people, or whatever the hell that crystal is. Hell, it looks like a fucking quartz spot pug for an ogre or some shit. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I just realised I've got more range on my totally best fucking AOE splash magic in the game. I don't know why I said AOE splash magic, it's just the splash magic. Oh shit, I need to heal. Go on, Mr. Industrialist. Go on, take a trip on my helicopters. Uh, they are food, so I'm going to save them. Just stab the cunt, stab the cunt, stab the cunt, stab the cunt. Ah! Fuck. Bro, he's following me, I'm scared. Bro, he's got scared. Bro, I'm scared of him. Look at his drip. Look at his stone cold drip on the head, bro. I don't know what those horns are for, but damn, they're intimidating. Okay, can you just back up, please? You know what? Let's make it fair, shall we? It's a beef off! And I think he does well more damage than me. That, that was still not fair. Ha! Making it rain downtown, arrow style, cause I don't want to die. Do -do 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 and I need it, do -do 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 -do. cause I don't want to die, do -do 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 -do. cause I need civilian Steve to get me through my life, god damn it. Stop blowing me up, you Nico terrorists. I don't know why I said Nico. Is that a country? I don't know. I heard it in a song a while ago. Also, I don't know, bro. What the hell song did I hear Nico Terrace in? What the fuck am I saying, bro? Beating up some diarrhea coloured fences or diarrhea coloured Frenchmen as the Chad English civilian. But, like. What did I just describe? Honestly, bro. The fact that I found that normal is funny to me. Go away, Handy McHand. Bro, that's his right hand. That's the wank hand. Fuck, fuck, he's trying to touch me. He's trying to touch Villain Steve. Ah! Piss off, you fucking rapist. Stop trying to touch me up. Not Villain Steve, what I should say. Don't ever call to touch me and Giraffe up. Ah, fuck. That's it, just touching up your machine until it dies with my knife that's on a stick. Which is what spear is, it's a knife on a stick. Oh, can you stop laughing, you fucking fart quad wannabe? I take it back, you're not fucking fart quad. You're fart quad's discarded, diarrhea looking cousin. Bro, did that machine just eat Taco Bell or some shit? Because that's it, what's I say? Bro, die! There we go. That was an easy boss fight, wasn't it, Farquad? Oh, it's just Farquad wanna be whatever. Oh, he's getting away, oh no, oh no. Yeah, get away. Anyways, Farquad, what was that rock? What was it? Was it impure meth? Tell me you wank it. Oh shit. I'm sure it'll be fine. What do you see, civilian Steve? The blue one. It's the limp dick version Ice King. Anyways, I have been unanimously Flop. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that Gucci good stuff, and I will see you in the next video.